At a convention filled with futuristic tech, self-driving cars, people going crazy in virtual reality. People just want to see retro games, and that's what we're going to be doing today. What is up, my friends? It's Rayback here once again at CES 2019 with an exclusive first look made possible by my friends over at My Arcade. You guys know I absolutely love the retro players and micro cabinets that they make because not only are they great to play on, but they're also awesome collector's items and display pieces. The games are fully licensed and the artwork on them stays true to the originals. It's really cool stuff, especially when you find out they're only $35 each. There's a lot to love here. So what we're going to be taking an exclusive first look at here today is the brand new freshly announced Bubble Bobble Micro Player and Pocket Player. This was by far one of the most requested things that I've been asked to make a video of at CES. All this futuristic tech and people just want to see retro games and I'm here to make it happen. So the Micro Player is actually a mini arcade cabinet and the Pocket Player is a handheld console and both of these actually feature the greatest game, arguably the greatest classic game of all time bubble bobble seriously this game is as fantastic as it is challenging and you get to play it all over again with nostalgic hardware to match it's a win-win and i think it really is the hardware that i was really most impressed with with the micro player and the pocket player they felt really solid very well built the buttons are very responsive especially on the pocket player the d-pad feels really nice the buttons on the side feel really nice and on the micro player they feel just like you're playing on an arcade cabinet it's cool stuff. However, alongside Bubble Bobble, My Arcade also announced a Ms. Pac-Man Micro Player and Pocket Player, a Galaga Pocket Player, a Elevator Action Micro Player, and Dig Dug and Don Doko Don Pocket Players, all of which are going to be launching in April, so there is a ton of stuff coming down the pipeline. With that being said, that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because it always helps out the channel. Be sure to stay tuned for more CES videos coming your way. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.